Stop, you're just going to barf. Hello, and welcome to The Walking Dead. Um, sorry about that. My cat was trying to eat my, eat my ranch dressing, which is going to end up just a mess for all of us. Um, I figure this game is a pretty good topical game to play right now, seeing as Season 3 is kind of on its way coming out and everything. I was going to upload one of my vlogs, because I've got a bit of a backlog of those, uh, but I could not find my USB drive to transfer the vlog stuff from my laptop that I use the webcam with to my desktop that I use for editing. Um, so I'll have to send you some of those later. Turns out, as soon as I uh, started getting this all ready and turned it on, I found the USB drive, but I was already committed. I have committed to doing this, and so this is what I'm going to do this week. We will have some vlogs later. Happy New Year, guys! It's 2017! Uh, okay, so we're, pl we're starting with the first season, um, if only because I want my own choices going into the third season. Uh, um, I just really don't want a random story, which is what happens if you start in the second or third season, is it'll just give you random answers to all the major choices, and I don't want that. I want to play this the way I want to play it. So we're going to play it on standard, just because I have not played this game yet. And we're going to play episode one, A New Day. Um, I'm very excited to play this game. I was planning on starting as soon as season three came out, and I'm a, maybe a week later or so, but you know what? I got shit to do. Well, I reckon you didn't do it then. You know what they say about reckoning? I don't, but I reckon it's a lot like assuming. Yeah, something like that. You know, I've driven a bunch of fellas down to this prison. Lord knows how many. Usually it's about now I get the, I didn't do it. And what do you say? I say, yep, I know you didn't. I followed your case a little bit, you being a making boy and all. What do you think? I'm just glad I chose law and not order. Big mess of trial like that. Even if he was innocent, a lot of what happened can't ever be undone. I got a nephew up at UGA. You teach there long? Going on my sixth year. You meet your wife in Athens? You want to know how I see it? Sure. Regardless, could be you just married the wrong woman. <sighs> I'm driving this man once. He, he was the worst one. He wouldn't stop going on about how he didn't do it. He was an older fellow, big soft eyes behind a pair of smart folk. Here it comes. He just wailing back there. Said it wasn't him. 
crying and snotting all over right where you sit. All officers are available for incoming to one second. Then before long, he starts kicking the back of the seat like, like a fussy baby on an airplane. And I tell him he's got to stop. That's government property, and I'll be forced to zap him otherwise. So he stops, and having exhausted all his options, he starts crying out for his mama. Mama, it's all a big mistake. It wasn't me. Maybe he was innocent. Innocent? They caught the fucker red-handed. Stabbing his wife, cutting her up as the boys came through the door. He sits in my car screaming bloody murder that it wasn't him. I think he actually believed it himself. It goes to show, people will up and go mad when they believe their life is over. Well, I got another good one for you. This one's a little bit less depressing, uh... and a bit more hilarious if I do say so. What the hell? This other time. <laughs> Here we are. Smack dab in the start of the apocalypse. have a shotgun out is a better question. Nice, nice. Let's get I out of here. I need to drag myself out that window. I need to drag myself out that window. Okay, there we go. Whee! Alrighty. Sorry, I want the officer's shotgun is over there. I want it. Yeah, yeah you got it, man. You got it. It's empty. Fuck. It'll be easier to carry with these cuffs off. Good point. Thank you. Okay, let's assume that he's got the key to the handcuffs. God damn. Officer? There we go. Maybe we should be doing this away from the corpse. Officer. Ah! Holy shit! Ah! 
What in the hell? Get away from me! Then please. Fuck. Don't make me do this. Okay. Perfect. <sighs> Is his own bowl. Can I stand up, please? Are you dead? Hey! Are you dead? <laughs> Help! Go get someone! There's been a shooting! It's my girl! Oh god. <laughs> they didn't really seem to care about the gunshot all that much. <laughs> Hello? Anybody? I don't really know how much commenting to do on this game, because, like... Chances are... If anybody's home. You know what happens. You know that I know what happens. Hello? Anybody home? I need a little help. Help! I'm like... I'm probably gonna make some mistakes in this. It's not gonna be the perfect playthrough. Not that there is actually a perfect playthrough, but it's been a while since I've watched anyone play this. It's been a while since I've known what the hell goes on in no season matter. one. I'm not getting up there anyway. This leg, the way it is. So, uh... I might make some mistakes, but I'm gonna honestly Somebody. try and do what I think is right. Yell if you can hear me! Anybody up there? I do actually want to turn on. Subtitles on. Fuck, sorry, give me a sec.
Okay, we're back. Sorry, my cats are proving today that they are big fucking idiots. I love them, but I wish they'd stop knocking shit over. Oh, no, don't accept the game. Resume the game. Hello? Anybody in there? Um. Fill one of those teacups with some bourbon if I could. Hell yes. How do I get her to come out? Is there anybody here? Maybe I should just check inside the house through the glass door before wandering out into the neighborhood. The neighborhood. You know, I did already do that, though, so... Oh, open the sliding glass door. Okay. Coming in. Don't shoot, okay? Not an intruder, but one of them. These people might be wild than I do. Jeez. Oh. Oh. Well, that wasn't very smart. Now you've got AIDS, probably. Hmm. Marshalls. That's a Savannah area code. But that's the type of note you'd leave a babysitter. How do I use the walkie-talkie? This place has been ransacked. Just about anything worthwhile is gone. Okay, that's that beep it. Oh, it's the answering machine. Maybe there's something on there. Three new messages. Message one left at 5:43 p.m. Hey, Sandra. This is Diana. We're still in Savannah. Uh, Ed had a little incident with some crazy guy near the hotel, so we had to get him back to the ER and have it checked out. Anyway, he's not feeling well enough to drive back tonight, so we're staying an extra day. Thanks so much for looking after Clementine, and I promise we'll be back in time before the spring break. Message two, left at 11.19 p.m. Oh my god, finally. I don't know if you tried to reach us. All, all the calls are getting dropped. They're not letting us leave and aren't telling us anything about Atlanta. Please, please, just leave the city and take Clementine with you back to Murrieta. I've, I've got to get back to the hospital. Please let me know that you're safe. Message three, left at 6.51 a.m. Clementine, baby, if you can hear this, call the police. Are 
Are you okay? I'm okay. They tried to get me. But I'm hiding until my parents come home. How old are you? Eight. And you're all alone? Yes. I don't know where anybody is. Well, How old are you? I'm, uh, 37. Okay. What's your name? I'm Clementine. This is my house. Hi, Clementine. I'm Lee. Where are your parents? They took a trip and left me with Sandra. They're in Savannah, I think. Where the boats are? Are you safe? I'm outside in my treehouse. They can't get in. That's smart. See? Can you see me? I can see you through the window. Oh. I'm forgetting all the jump scares. Oh my God. bad to look at. Oh, that's just ugly. I don't like it. Man. Hi there. Did you kill it? I think something else did. It fooled me, I think. I heard her scream two nights ago. Maybe one of the monsters got her. Two nights ago? Yeah, that's probably what happened. You've been all by yourself through this? Yeah, I want my parents to come home now. I think that might be a little while, you know? Oh. Look, I don't know what happened, but I'll look after you until then. What should we do now? We need to find help before it gets dark. Yeah, it's not safe at night. Let's go. Stay close to me. Oh, she's so little. I ain't never getting home to mama at this rate. This sucks. Oh, it's hot dish night. What's the matter? Should I stay? What? I don't want to sleep in the treehouse tonight, but I don't know if I should leave. What if my parents come home? I won't leave you alone. Well, let's go somewhere safe that's close, okay? That's a good idea. Perhaps these two fine gentlemen will help us. Hey, man! Holy shit! Don't eat us! We're not gonna hurt you. Yeah. I thought for a second you and the little one were both gonna give us the chump. 
We need help. Are you trying to get out of here? Because you should be. Those things are all over the damn place. I haven't seen anything as gnarly as this neighborhood since downtown Atlanta, 15 miles back. I'm Sean. Sean Green. Lee, this is Clementine. I'm Chet. We shouldn't be out in the open like this. How about you help us clear the way, and we'll take you and your daughter out of here and down to my family's farm. It should be safer there. I'm not a dad. I'm... Her babysitter. Her parents are out of town. Let's get going. Staying put for too long is a mistake. What do you want to do? I... The monster's coming. We gotta go. Leave quick. Let's go. All right, y'all. Yeah, Clementine. <laughs> As babysitters go, I'd say her parents owe you a tip. Sean, I'm gonna run on home. My mama's gonna be in a snit. No sweat, man. I'll catch you tomorrow night. It was nice to meet you both. Thank God you're okay. I was worried it'd be bad here, too. Been quiet as usual the past couple days. Old Brecken down the way thinks his mare's gone lame, but that ain't nothing new. I wouldn't have made it back without Chet. Well, I'm glad you took him with you then. You brought a couple guests. Your boy's a lifesaver. Glad he could be a help to somebody. <clears throat> so it's just you and your daughter then? Oh, not his daughter. He's the babysitter. Honey, do you know this man? Yes. Okay then. Well... Looks like you hurt your leg pretty bad there. Uh, yeah. It's not doing so good. I can help you out. Sean, run on in and check on your sister. You, take a seat up on the porch and I'll go see what I have. Let's have a look. Yeah, this is swollen to hell. Well, you don't say much. Wish I had five just like you. What did you say your name was? It's Lee. Nice to meet you, Lee. I'm Herschel Green. How'd this happen? Uh... Jumping a fence. Running from something? Just like everybody else. What type of danger has the girl seen? Who knows? She had a few lonely days with nothing but the dead keeping her company. I still just can't imagine it. Consider yourself lucky. House is full up with mine. We got another displaced family of three sleeping in the barn. You and your daughter are welcome to rest there, and we're done here. I didn't catch your name, darling. Clem Clementine. I can't imagine what you've been through, Clementine. I'm looking after her until we uh, find her parents. Hey, Dad. So I'm thinking, first thing tomorrow, we gotta reinforce the fence around the farm. 
That doesn't seem necessary. I don't know what you saw on TV or heard on the radio, but there's some serious shit hitting the fan. I don't think anyone knows how good it is. Your son's right. You're going to want to fortify this place. Stuff like that doesn't happen around here, Sean. Oh, my God. Dad, I'm serious. Lee, come on. Tell him what you saw out there, man. I got chased by a couple of dead people. Well, do what you think you should. We got plenty of chores as it is. Lee and those folks in the barn can help out in the morning. We got to do it. Really. I already said okay. Well, I'm all done here. It should start to feel better tomorrow. Thanks. If your leg gets hot or the swelling doesn't go down, you're probably dealing with an infection. What do we do then? Cut They'll it probably off. Probably just have to shoot you. <laughs> we'll clean it, redress it, and you'll be fine. Okay, that'd be preferable. There's blankets and such in the barn. We'll be seeing you bright and early. Thanks, Come Herschel. Tomorrow, which way you think you're headed? Towards making, I suppose. All right, then. It smells like... I know what it smells like. Duty. <laughs> <laughs> I miss my mom and dad. I bet, Clem. How far is Savannah? Pretty far. Oh, okay. My dumb fucking cats. Hey, get up. Kenny! <sighs> Hello, my dude. Oh, I'm itchy. Well, you slept in a barn, little lady. Lucky you don't have spiders in your hair. <gasps> but I bet your daddy scared them all away, huh? I'm, uh, not a dad. Same sleep. I'm Kenny. Dad, we're in the fence. There's a tractor and everything. We better get going, or we won't hear the end of it. That's my boy, Ken Jr. We call him Duck, though. I still don't know why. Duck? Yeah, nothing bothers him. Like water off a duck's back, you know? Okay, That's but... a valuable treat lately. No kidding. But frankly, I think it's because he's dumb as a bag of hammers. Dad! But he makes up for it with enthusiasm. The word is you were on your way to Macon. My family's from there. Well, Macon's on the way, and personally, I'd appreciate the company of a guy who can knock a couple of heads together if he has to. I'll see what the girl would like. Ah, gotta consult the missus. I understand. Honey, Duck, this is Lee. And, uh, what's the girl's name? Clementine. Clementine. That is a very pretty name. Thanks. Well, we should get to work. We've all seen what those things can do out there, so the faster we get this fence up, the better. I want to build a fence! Yeah? Well, I need a good foreman. You can sit on the tractor and yell at me whenever I take a water break. On the tractor? Cool! Duck and I will hop to it. Don't let Duck have heavy I machinery. I keep an eye on your little girl here on the porch. We can visit. Okay, let's build a fence. You having a nice time with Katya Clementine? Yeah. Good. She's gonna die. They're all gonna die. Hey there, uh, Kenny. That's why I stopped watching the show. Need any help? No, I think I got it. Do you need any help? What do you mean? I mean in taking care of that little girl. You know what you're doing? You got kids of your own? I have no idea what I'm doing. At least you're honest. Shit. Better than I was when Duck showed up. 
You'll figure it out. Showed up? How's your son doing? Good, I think. Kachi's got a sister up in Memphis. We were coming back from visiting her. We were in a gas station and some guy grabbed my boy. I thought he was kidnapping him. I was on the fucker in about two seconds and... Christ. Just lucky I was there. We saw a lot of bodies before we stumbled upon Herschel's. But we're a tough family, Lee. Ain't nothing gonna phase us. Saying he just showed up is like... Like, out of nowhere, there's time. just this kid. Get back on down to Lauderdale and let this mess get sorted out. Government will start handing out shots and the National Guard will do its thing. On the odd chance things got too bad, we could hop on my boat, I guess. You've got a boat. I'm a commercial fisherman, catching mackerel, dolphin, whatever's biting and paying. Katya wouldn't be wild about it, but the boat's not that bad. See ya. Neat. Yeah, so I stopped watching the show, not because I have a problem with people dying and stuff, if it narratively makes sense, I don't mind. Like, I I like Game of Thrones, though I haven't seen a lot of it and haven't gotten around to reading the books yet, because I've been, like I mention all the time, busy as shit. It's just whatever scraps I could find around the property. But, like, the show's kind of like, okay, well, there's this main character, and everyone else is going to die, and he's going to always survive. Do you uh, think this thing will keep him out? Not yet. I'm planning on coming back through on a fortification pass, if you will. We'll lock this place up good. So, I don't know, I just found it repetitive and kind of boring and, like, there's no real plot to it. It's just kind of, oh, your friends are dead. Oh, your yeah, friends are it? dead. Sure don't. I can give you a hell of a critique of the U.S. farm bill, though. I'm good. <laughs> Sean's still working on that fence. So, yeah, I prefer the game. Really? Need a hand? That'd be great. If you could cut those two bites to length, that'd sure speed things up. Especially, like, the events at the end of season one here. Like... My dad doesn't know how bad it is. No. It just kind of gave me faith that this game kind of will give you a anything. Kid. A boy. Just shot him right in the face. Was the boy one of the walkers? I don't even know. He was either attacking the guy or asking for help. He didn't even hesitate. He just turned, put the barrel of the gun right between the kid's eyes, and pulled the trigger. You don't see things like that. It's not like in the movies. You don't fall like you think. Did you have to do it? Do what? Kill. Have you had to off one yet? Oh. Uh... Bastard. Poor girl's brains in. Whoa. I couldn't do that. I'm just glad we're getting this fence built. Dad just wants to keep the family safe and thinks inviting people in is a bigger threat than whatever's out there. How about yours? How's your family? Um, not too close with my family. Uh, well, they weren't in Atlanta, right? So that's good. That's probably all I need cut for now. Thanks. Hmm. You're welcome. Let's check on the dumb kid. And Sean, thanks again for the ride. No problem, Lee. Couldn't leave you behind. Anyway, when you see my dad around, he might want some help in the barn. Okay. Let's talk to Duck. How you doing, Duck? Good. I'm going to drive the tractor. No, you're not. I'm the foreman. Lift with your back, Sean. You should know that if you weren't leaving with Kenny today, I wouldn't stand for your lack of honesty last night. Excuse me? I'm not sure I follow. How'd you get out of Atlanta? I got a ride and then I was in a wreck. I walked until your boy found me. Hmm. Well, you're no worse for wear. Uh, this farm's a nice plot of land. Huh. Had you told me 20 years ago I'd still be doing this, I would have told you that you were full of crap. Never was a plan, having a place like this. 
It was in the family, and I guess so was I. Family's important. That's all that matters. Do you agree with that? Was brought up to, yes. Where's your family now? Parents? Wife? Girlfriend? My parents are in Macon with my brother. Well, I hope they're all right. But now you've Me got too. this little girl to take care of. Clementine, is it? You just stumbled up on her? What are you getting at? Hmm. Can I give you a piece of advice? No. What is it? I don't know who you are or what you did. Let's say things don't get better back in the cities, or they get worse before they do. You're going to have to depend on the honesty of strangers if you're going to make it. And if those same people get to questioning yours, you're going to be in trouble. Oh, and I'd start checking the attitude, friend. Check your own attitude, friend. Go! I'll get my gun! Oh, I hate this. Oh, I hate this. Save the kid. What? What am I doing? What am I doing? Got that ride to make it if you want it. So you gotta save the kid. It's just what you gotta do. Well, this is as far as we're going. And it's far enough. Drug. Look! Hey there. You friendly? Trucks run out of gas.
risks like this. And we can't just let people die, either. When I say that door stays shut no matter what, I fucking mean it. We don't know who these people are. It could be dangerous. Worse, they couldn't let them right to us. We have kids with us. I see one little girl. What is it? I... I have to pee. I'd go out there again in a second. I bet you would. In a minute, Clem. They've got kids, Lily. Those things outside don't care. Maybe you should go join them then. You'll have something in common. God damn it, Lily. You have to control these people. Carly and Glenn just ran out there. I don't give a flying fuck. We're in a war zone. She's not wrong. They took a risk. Yes, we did. And we appreciate it. Let's settle down. Holy shit. Son of a bitch. One of them is bitten. Shit. We let one in, you stupid shit. We have to end this now. Over my dead body, we'll dig one hole. No, I'm cleaning him up. There's no fight. He's fine. Don't you fucking people get it? We've already seen this happen. We let someone with a bite stay in, and we all end up bitten. Shut up. We gotta throw him out. Or smash his head in. Kenny, stop him! Hey, what do we do about this guy? Dad, it's just a boy. It, it's... Lily, I'll handle it. We reason with him. With the bloody end of an axe handle, maybe. Nobody threatens my boy. Everyone, chill the fuck out! Nobody is doing anything. Shut up, Lily. And you, shut the fuck up. They will find us, and they will get in here, and none of this will fucking matter. But right now, we're about to be trapped in here with one of those things. What the hell are you talking about? He's bitten! That's how you turned! He's not bitten. Please stop this. It's upsetting him. Oh, I'm upsetting him. Upsetting is getting eaten alive. What if this was your daughter? Never would have happened. She's not some snot-nosed toddler, okay? She's United States Air Force. Fuck you and her. I'm gonna kill him, Cat. Just worry about Duck. Lee! Please don't yeah. kill him. There's someone in there. It's just locked. Key's behind the counter. Probably. Hey, I'm not the bad guy here. I'm just looking out for my daughter. No, you're just the guy arguing for killing a kid. He's covered in muck. She'll find the bite. Watch. She won't. And if she does, the first thing he'll do is sink his teeth into his mom's face. Then, when she's dead, he'll probably pounce on your little girl. It's a little boy. I think we can handle it. A little boy? He'll be an uncontrollable man-eater. Not gonna happen. It is. And we're tossing him out now. Knock this guy out. Happily. Oh, Jesus! Oh, oh man. You okay? Just great, thanks. Thanks, lady. Uh, guys? Uh, Everybody down. Stay quiet. We're gonna get in. Shut up. Is that the military? We almost died because of this bitch and the Richie trigger finger. That was stupid. That was. Uh, uh, Dad! Ah! Ah! What's wrong with it? It's his heart. My pills. Um, nitroglycerin pills? Yes, we're out. We've been trying to get into the pharmacy since we got here. Please try to get in there. Behind the counter where the pills are. 
here somehow. Thank you so much. We need nitroglycerin pills. Please get in there. I'll keep an eye on my dad. Everyone else should get comfy and look for anything useful. We could be in here a while. I'm starting to think this drugstore isn't a permanent solution. You're right. This ain't exactly Fort Knox. What do you suggest? We need as much gas as possible so we can all get out of downtown Macon. Fast. Agreed. And I'll head out and get gas. There's a motel not too far from here, out towards the end of Peachtree. I'll work my way towards it and then loop back, siphoning what I can. You know your way around? Local. Born and raised. If you're gonna do that, here's a walkie-talkie if you get in a tight spot. Hopefully, you won't need it. Cool. Clementine's got the other one. Check in with her and get back here as soon as you can. And you? What's your name? It's Lily. My dad's Larry. Keep a good eye on him. These boys will work on getting you your medicine. That's right. And you? You keep an eye on that front door. You're our lookout. It's Doug. You got it. And I'm Carly. Okay, Carly. You'll shift in with Doug when he needs it. For now, get some rest. You're a good shot, and I'd like to keep it that way. You got it, boss. Now get him those pills. Okay, I think that's a good place to end the first episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you again soon. I hope you guys are still having a great holiday season. Happy New Year. Hopefully 2016 is far behind us and 2017 treats us much better. Have a wonderful day, and I will see you later. Goodbye!